I want to talk to you guys today about a very underutilized skill that everybody is capable of doing and there's so much benefit that comes from it and yet I think the great majority of people just don't take the time to do this on a regular and a consistent basis and that is the skill of writing. writing. This is something that man, a number of years ago I had uh, a couple of mentors in my life that really encouraged me just to begin writing. Everything from outlining things, sketching things, writing things, and just really get into the habit of taking what's in my head, all these abstract thoughts and kind of disparate thoughts that were all in my head as I was thinking and learning to structure them and order them onto a piece of paper. And not even on a computer necessarily, but onto a piece of paper. And to be able to take what's in my head and translate it into some sort of format or flow or structure was so helpful for me just to begin thinking about all kinds of things that were going on in my life or things in my business that I wanted to really focus on. And so I've got this kind of acrostic that I put together that I think is really helpful in terms of understanding why writing is so beneficial. And it's pretty simple. It's working to improve your rational skills, your insights, and your thinking capacity to achieve excellence. And look at the benefits again real quick. Number one, when you begin to write, you begin working on improving, one, your rational skills. What that means is people who write end up becoming better in their ability to think through issues, their ability to think logically, because now you've got to connect your thoughts. If you're building out an outline, depending on how detailed it is, the ability to build an outline that is connected from one thought to another and allow it to flow. These are your rational skills. It's the ability to build an argument for something, or maybe it's building an argument against something. Maybe you're writing and you're writing kind of a why you should do something or why you shouldn't do something. You'll be amazed how it begins to challenge your, your reasoning, your rational capacity. Not just that, but then insights arise, things that you hadn't thought about before. Things that when you're just sitting there thinking, you might have some insights, but when you're writing and you're actually taking the time to structure and order what it is that you're thinking about, you'll be amazed the number of insights, things that pop into your head that you didn't think about that you can immediately write off to the side insights as you're writing uh, through a particular exercise. Not just that, but your thinking capacity grows. What that means is that people who write, their capacity begins to grow as thinkers because now you begin writing about a whole bunch of things. Because if you're gonna write on a consistent basis, you're not necessarily gonna write about the same thing all the time. You're gonna be thinking about all kinds of things. You're gonna thinking, be thinking about your own life. You're gonna be thinking about other people. You're gonna be thinking about your job. You're gonna be thinking about skills. You're going to be thinking about areas of your life you want to grow and improve, right? There's, I mean, it's an endless number of topics that you can come up with that you can just start thinking about. And the more things you think about, the greater your capacity grows. And now you're going to be thinking about things you never really would have thought of before. And if you do that, if you can develop your rational skills, continue to grow your insights into life, into yourself, into your business, into your relationships, whatever those things are, and your thinking capacity continues to grow, all of those things combined are going to help lead you to achieve excellence in your life. Whatever, whatever areas of your life that you're really deeming the most important parts of your life, you will have a greater uh, uh, opportunity and ability to achieve excellence in those things if you take the time and just begin writing. And maybe not every day if you just don't have that kind of self-discipline, but try to get yourself on a schedule. Maybe it's three times a week. You're gonna get a notepad out. You're gonna get a, a notebook and you're just gonna write. Uh, maybe it's just outlining. You're gonna outline just maybe um, a plan for, for next year. Maybe you're gonna outline a plan for exercising, for getting healthy, maybe a plan for how you're gonna have a better relationship with somebody. Maybe you're gonna outline a plan for business development and growing your business or becoming a better salesperson. Whatever those things are, just put pen to paper and begin practicing the discipline of writing and take what's up here 
and translate it onto paper. And I promise you, it will help you to achieve far more excellence in the long run.